This is a teardown of a Dell SonicWall Soho firewall, and it is model APL31-0B9. And the screws for this are more than likely under the rubber feet. Might have to switch bits, we'll see. Looks like they're number two Phillips head screws, if you're wondering. I'm currently using a number one bit though. And hey, look at this. Warranty hasn't been, hasn't been voided yet. Oops. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't appear to be a screw under the label. Might need to do a better job of cutting that label. And if it doesn't want to split apart, it's going to get the old bounce off the floor trip. Don't do it. Oh, there we go. That label is the only thing holding me up. I think. <laughs> Close your eyes and crunch. <laughs> Interesting. Fun little board. Looks like we got one screw to contend with that's holding the board down. Actually, surprise. It's, uh, it's a lot easier to tear apart than I was expecting. Just uh, run of the mill ABS plastic looks like. I don't know what the Samsung's referring to. Hmm. And here's the board. Not too much to see in the bottom. Looks like some flash memory and then some uh, Nanya RAM. Not sure what these Texas Instruments chips are for. Might be a USB controller chip for the uh, SD card. does have a tiny little CMOS battery. Let's see if we can zoom into it and see what it is. It's a CR1225. It's a little metal tab soldered to it and then soldered into the board. Looks like it might have had a provision for a CF card. Otherwise everything else is pretty much populated. Let's see if we can pop these heat sinks off and see what's under them. I may have to run and grab something for the CPU heatsink because I don't foresee myself having a good time trying to just force it off. Get that adhesive off there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that one off. Oh, all right, came off. Oh, let's see here. Just gonna do this the hard way. Maybe. Yeah. I think my safest option is to go get some side cutters and cut those pins. Alrighty, got me some side cutters. Not a big fan of these spring style. Heat sink clips, mostly because when they when you cut them, if you're not cutting them, these springs have a lot of strength to them, and they'll just go flying. Alrighty, well, let's see what's under here. Aha, cadmium, cadmium chip. Seems like a lot of the firewall stuff I've tore apart recently has had this particular brand. Octeon Plus CN5020-400BG564-SCP-G. And I'm guessing this could be a Broadcom chip. I think I saw the word, start of the word on there. Oh, no. 
Mm -hmm. Can't get that adhesive off. Well, I might be mistaken on that. Let's see if. I well, that was a mistake. I accidentally bumped the screen when I was trying to play with the zoom. Yeah, I can't find a zoom where it'll focus in on this real nice. Oh well. I just not want to focus on this one either. That's unfortunate. That's probably about the as good as I'm going to get. But. You know what this is? I'm guessing this is the network controller chip for the RJ45 ports based on where the traces are going. Basically all going towards the ports. But, uh, yeah. So, that's uh, that, I guess. Sorry about the awkward cut, but hopefully that was interesting, and thanks for watching.